This is Marmots and welcome to another video of the Generator in Action series. In this, in this video we are going to see how SQL is performed and how to optimize SQL queries, how to work with, with them. The first thing we, uh, we are going to see is that we have uh, an XML file for every entity with the queries. We have uh, an SQL query for, for lists and we have uh, an SQL query for the day by default. Uh, initially you have uh, every list query doing the same with the same query and every detail with the same and it's normal to use this but if you need some different queries for the for the same entity you can you can add it and we also have a select count and insert update save and delete so we are going how to how to optimize uh, these queries because we are querying uh, three uh, three deep uh, three levels of relationships we are querying the the main fields the hotel object from this activity and the hotel object agent object and the hotel the agent manager and by default we are we are querying three the three deep uh, level of relationships okay this is nice because uh, you have the queries prepared to query a lot of information but uh, if you have a lot of data you will have to, to change it it's one of the first thing to do in terms of performance so we are going to see how to how to do it uh, the first thing we have to do is to start the server and we are going to see the list in the in the application to to see which fields we are using and which fields uh, can be interesting to show to the user so it's started we are going to reservations at localhost and we are looking at activities here they are okay so this is uh the those are our activities and we are showing id t title description star and location latitude longitude and hotel so we are going to improve this sql to show only required fields and also as a as an example we are going to show the manager of this of this hotel because it's interesting for the for the user to have the, this information so latitude and longitude no longer required um, hotel object hotel name are required we don't want those we want agent and name we could also want the manager if we want to show but in this example we don't want it and we can remove all these fields then we are going to remove also the joins in order to have only the regular joins as uh, the object and other agent so it's okay and we are going to do the same changes here in the count okay so we have this we will wait for the we will wait for the server to restart to apply the this change and it's started okay so if we come here we can see same information mainly because the other information was not shown but description is too much is too much long and we are moving a lot of information from the line so we are going to add a substring of description from one to 250 
and when we are going to wait the server to restart we can we can trim we, we can substring the information also in the angular part but in this case we are doing here so if we come here we have the information uh, the description with max length of 250 now we are going to remove latitude and longitude and we are going to show the other agent so we have to go to the front end and we are going to activity list in order to first of all is to remove, remove latitude and longitude here because we don't want to filter we don't want to show it latitude longitude uh, latitude and longitude so we have this information we don't have more oh sorry latitude longitude latitude longitude okay so we have this information <laughs> now and now we are going to add the agent of this hotel it's hotel object agent object name and we want we want to sort also by hotel object agent object name and the the label for this for this element is hotel attributes agent okay and uh, here we will add Hotel object agent object dot name. So if we come here, we can see that we have the agent presented here, and we can sort by it, and we can sort by the other, and so on. And now we want to add also a filter here to filter by the agent. So we will come here, and after the hotel, we will put another filter it's agent o hotel agent it's a, a id not not important hotel agent the label is hotel agent hotel agent hotel agent so if we come here we have the button the text box in order to put the the filter now we are going to come here and look for params dot and here is where we prepare all the parameters for example if they are char fields we add the the filter we are the comodin and we are going to copy this one that holds the hotel we can remove latitude and longitude as we are not using them anymore and we are going to add the hotel agent parameter we we have added hotel agent label for hotel agent here if we don't have the hotel object we will have to create a new one in order to put here the agent object is hotel agent and uh, as is it a uh, string we don't use query modifiers also here i, I Generator needs uh, some some cleanup. Sorry. Okay, so uh, we have put this information or the legend, and we are ready to try it. And we will filter by LC and network. Fine. Oh, there's a JavaScript error. 
something name of undefined oh sorry sorry this is the pressure the demo okay now we were looking for an hotel object to create an hotel object but we need an agent object in order to specify the name so that was the error we can refresh we can close here and we can put and filter by a field of not a related table but a table of a related table we can filter we can sort by every it's sorting we can say marmots and we can say Locatian swimming pool and so on and this is how to improve the queries this is how to choose which information to show and it's really really fast on development and it's really fast also in performance and i hope you have enjoyed this demo and see you in the next thanks for the attention and goodbye